driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Come on, tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Actually, the webcam is too big. Because it's blocking the whole screen. supposed to do that. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. I think that only works on parrots. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Hold it right there. You come up when I say you can, which is never get. Back to Muppin. I wonder what it's made out of. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young.
the grease helps. A little. Oi! You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Hmm. So do I need to do one more? You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. Uh, it's working. I can't see anything. This one doesn't open. Looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. Blah, 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 this is a blah, bunch of empty containers blah, of monkey blah. blood and squid ink. And so, having slaughtered them to a man, I claimed my prize. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. <laughs> the map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I am Adrian, and play a variety of things on my channel, so please like, share, subscribe for my daily content. Well, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood. Uh, and a pressed skull, I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone. And some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back! New guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. I get that a lot. I have a common sort of face. I suppose everyone looks the same with the skin peeled off. <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion. We just went over this. Well, why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so! Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem! Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then! Meeting adjourn. We'll finish the potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Ready for cannon firing. That was fun, but it would be even better if the cannons loaded with something. The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. Toasty. Toasty. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Now's not a good time to attract attention. Toasty. Ahem. I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! 
before I decide to use yours instead. Shouldn't you be up in the crow's nest doing lookout stuff? Mm, the best show is down here. I want to see if you screw up this thing with this girl. What's it like working for LeChuck? I can't complain. Really? It's in the employee handbook. No complaining. You'll live longer if you remember that, new guy. Do we have a union? You sure don't, Swabby. Can I check the crow's nest for a skull? There's nothing you need up there. Any ideas for where to find a skull? I'm really more of a watcher than a helper. Gotta go. I've got a job to do. My condolences. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. There's nothing you need up there, new guy. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. These open plan offices are all the rage now. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Nice. A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Toasty. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Come on, tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. Hey. That is one revolting. Ah. Have a skull for the potion. Is it a flat one? Not exactly. I said a flattened skull, you useless bilge rat. The crow's nest is up there. There's nothing you need up there, new guy. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. This one doesn't open. I can't see anything. That's a big rudder.
Fortunately, there's a much more straightforward way to get in there. Yeah, it looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. Hmm. I wonder what's for dinner. How's it going in there, Murray? You will pay for this indignity, you worthless skull napper. How's it going in there, Murray? You will pay for this indignity, you worthless skull napper. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! Hmm. The headache from my old cannon injury is gone. Oh, good. And replaced with a brand new even more excruciating one. I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. I have a flattened skull. Well, put it in the cauldron and let's get going to Monkey Island. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. I have a skull. Should I put it in the pot? Is it flat? Uncomfortably so. Then yes. Murray, I'm afraid I've got more bad news for you. I, Murray, do not hear bad news. I am bad news. My visage is the harbinger, striking abject terror into the loins of those who merely glimpse me. Unless they're looking at you from the side, in which case they might be afraid of getting a paper cut. You have crushed me with a mangle. Yes, but I am unstoppable. There is nothing you can do to diminish my... <laughs> Next stop, Monkey Island. Swami! Good. Why are you out in the open? 
You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And well, also... I... <gasps> You'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's tea. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Who wants to tell the chuck? No one should tell the Chuck. Let's not be stupid. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know the Chuck like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, <coughs> they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. Okay, so what did you do? Was there a magic map? An ancient sea creature? Did you move the island instead of the ship? Whoa there. Do you want to tell the story or listen to me? Do I have to answer that? There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! You wouldn't happen to have a magic voodoo concoction in here that will get us to Monkey Island, would you? No. And like Rose said, we used up most of the supplies, so there's no way we're brewing another one. Okay. Just checking. I'll find a different way. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah. I already did those. That's held shut with a pretty sturdy piece of timber. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. It sounds like screaming, but really quiet. Yeah. Can I ask about that pepper shaker? It's demon pepper. Made from demon peppers, which are basically the hottest peppers you can get. Do not, under any circumstances, put it on anything you intend to eat. I like spicy food. Not like this. Burns on the way in, burns on the way out. In between, burns. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. Remind me what you told me about the pepper. It's very, very, very hot. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. What's the soup of the day? Some former crew members who uh, didn't work out. Yikes. It's a delicacy. In there, Murray. I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it.
I'm working on a way for us to get to Monkey Island without using a voodoo potion. Glad to hear it. I'm working on something else. Great meeting. See you later. You! Swabby! Come over here! Ye be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Mike. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I like some unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team building exercise. I won't. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Nice view up here. Sure. I'm just looking around for another way to get to Monkey Island. Be my guest. Hey, Flambe! Ship ahoy! You should try looking through this thing once in a while. Things are simpler when I don't. Well, you might be right in this case. It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there, and also he threw out the cannonballs. They were metric. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. They undercut my three, I mean, three boards expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed step in the back is cause for celebration. Aha! They're missing a skull. We don't need a potion because they have one. Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. These things get more sophisticated every year. Would that we all did the... Well, looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. I've got an idea for how we can get to Monkey Island after all. Sounds exciting. Rose is right over there. You should get her opinion on it. I have an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No. It involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. Madison. Huh. She owes me money. And a hat. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm going to help them finish it. And then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golan gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hole. Whoa, hang on. I'm a little surprised to hear this. You shouldn't be. But so far, you haven't struck me as the brightest candle in the box. There's nothing on that island except for... The secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush three board. Hey, did I tell you guys he asked about a job on the ship? Three board? <laughs> <laughs> the secret is worth a ton of money. Probably to the right people. Let us know if you find any of those people. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell.
Fair enough. Pay attention, Swabby. This is how we make decisions on a pirate ship. The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 Aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. What? What do you want, Swabby? Why exactly are you trying to find the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island has tormented many a pirate. Some believe it doesn't exist, that it's just a myth or a joke concocted by a fool. None has been more obsessed over it than that idiot Guybrush. Me? I think it holds a mystical power to be harnessed for evil. And as an added bonus, it will drive Threepweed over the edge of madness. Threepwood. Wood. With two O's. What was your name again? Uh, Swabby. With two B's. Mind if I take a look at that map you were waving around earlier? Don't touch the map. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me at great expense, and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader. Not a follower. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's Grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. These open plan offices are all the rage now. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. Disgraceful. I'm not sure if this is ectoplasm or what. Ugh. Hmm. 
Ugh, guess I should have cleaned that. But I'll leave it for the next swabby. It's revolting. And it's a slipping hazard. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. Go it! You! He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. Looks like an antique. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, swabby. Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me. The Chuck gave me your job. You? Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a fellow. You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement. I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. And it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git. I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? I guess you've got me there. <laughs> if I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm gonna get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity, then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for a penny's sake. You baboon! <laughs> I get you for this. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Could you initial this report, please? This doesn't look complete. I'm sure you can find more wrong on this ship than that. Okay. It used to be in Gullet's back. Do you want, Swabby? Did nothing, never mind. Now get out of here so I can think! It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley. That's it. I've completed my...
Uh, Flair? Yes? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. I have your knife. My grandmother's knife. Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pull that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote? Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. I could do you a favor in return. Win-win. That's how politics works, right? I don't bargain away my opinions and judgment for cash or favors. Sorry. I'm not for sale. I have a moral center. Uh, I've got one of those. It's just kind of small and off to the side. Like a hangnail. Let's hope it doesn't cause you any trouble in your career as a pirate. Mm, not so far. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly. In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. Through a reddish haze of constant anger? I don't know. That's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. It's a stack of papers waiting for LeChuck's signature. Can't you see me be thinking? Make it quick, Swabby! Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. It's a stack of papers stamped by LeChuck. I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Bob, I confess I'm a little confused about what your job is. I mean, I know you hang up there all day. I'm just not sure why. As yardarm hanger, I serve as an example to the crew of what might happen if they break the rules. It's an important role, though admittedly not an exciting one. Looks like it's empty. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Uh, about your vote? It doesn't mean much to me one way or the other. But hey, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. You want me to scratch your back? <sighs> Figure of speech. No need to burn yourself. 
do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. Uh, about your vote. Do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poker to the tongue. Sounds good. Exquisitely painful, yes. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Think you'll be done reading soon? Nah, I don't really have anything else to do. How do you make Scorched Alaska? I don't. I have someone else make it. Uh, professionally possible. There are safety concerns. Remind me how you make Scorched Alaska? I engage a professional. Keep up the bad work. Always. Well, looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. These things get more sophisticated every year. Well, looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. So, Putra. Chef Putra? Please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never. But they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath. I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm gonna do that on this, too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. What exactly is a Scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. How come people don't call you chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry, improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah, of course on a ship this size I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ah, I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this, but LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. Anyway... I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. Shut it! 
Wouldn't he be swabbing? Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. Now get out of here so I can think. What do you want, Swabby? Didn't Guybrush Threepwood get to Monkey Island years ago? Guybrush Threepwood is a fancy pants wearing third rate sailor and a has been pirate. He stole the woman I loved. And I will eat his heart at the gates of hell. Did you really love Elaine, or was it more of a... My patience is wearing thin, Swabby! Now get out of here so I can think! I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave? Have you seen Putra's application for promotion? Of course. That's something LeChuck has to approve personally, which he would never consciously do. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. I still think he should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Fortunately, there's a much more straightforward way to get in there. to order are there any matters to be voted on following Madison's ship to monkey island on which i vote i nay nay i nay nay that's more eyes than before but the vote to go must be unanimous sorry swabby meeting adjourned Hey, Gullet. Can I get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Flare? What? Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. I want to check in on your vote about going to Monkey Island. Relax. 
I'll vote with you. I owe you one. Go swap a deck or something. Will do. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I can come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> well, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. One bell. Voting hour. The meeting is called to order. Are there any matters to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. Nay. Nay. Aye. Nay. Nay. The vote hasn't changed since last time. The mill of democracy grinds slowly. I warn you, Swabby. Don't waste our time. Meeting adjourned. It's empty now. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Sea shanties? Not really. Clog dancing? Nope. Bowling? Well, no. Flea circus? Well, no. Keel hauling? Well, no. Embroidery? Nope. Improvisational theater? Nah. Basket weaving? Well, no. Model shipbuilding? Hmm, not so much. Animal husbandry? Not really. Meditation? Hmm, not so much. Yodeling? Well, no. Carpentry? Well, no. Whittling? Well, no. Could you just pick something? Oh, anything's fine. Whistling? Nope. Philosophical discussion? Not really. Water ballet? Mm, not so much. Gin rummy? Mm, not so much. Checkers? Well, no. Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Ha! Biographies? I do enjoy reading. We'll see what I can find. It won't keep anyone out, but it could keep something in. what it's made out of. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. Working hard? Never. Remind me how you make Scorched Alaska? I engage a professional. Keep up the bad work. Always. Working hard? Never. 
about your vote. Do something nice for me, and maybe I help you. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. Keep up the bad work. Always. What do you want, Swabby? Are you sure I can't take a peek at the map to the secret? I just washed my hands. Touching that map is a shortcut to being keelhole. The voodoo potion spell thingamajig is coming along great. Nothing to worry about. Then, why are you bothering me about it? Now get out of here so I can think! I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. We'll see what I can find. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. Looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. Can I get you anything? You can get me unstuck from this rudder. Thank you very much, you insufferable slug. I was thinking more like a breath mint. Ugh. Crabs like limbs, apparently. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. These open plan offices are all the rage now.
The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? I think that only works on parrots. I wonder what it's made out of. I already have some chicken feed. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Ew. At least they don't smell like live chickens. So, Chef. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. Are you sure you don't want to make a Scorched Alaska? Like I said, Scorched Alaska calls for a chef. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? Yeah, I'm voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? They're still clean. Why don't you find some place to swab, Swabby? Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a different... A uh, flare? <sighs> what is it? What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. I'll leave my work down here. It's the ship's hold. Home sweet home? If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. If I clean off the grease, I won't be able to leave this way. for cannon firing. That had better be the sound of you working, Swabby.
little crabs like limbs, apparently. Get you anything? You can tell whoever's been turning the ship's wheel to knock it off. I could lose a leg or something. I'll be sure to pass that along. Like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Autobiographies? I do enjoy reading. We'll see what I can find. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. I think it's just a sculpture. I hope it's just a sculpture. This is a bunch of empty containers. The crow's nest is up there. The crow's nest is up there. Well, looks like they haven't figured out their skull problem yet. Good. Working hard? Never. Keep up the bad work. Always. Flambe, would you like some crackers? Yeah. Crackers, I like my feet. In that I want to keep them as far from my mouth as possible. Working hard? Never. Keep up the bad work. Always. Scorched Alaska calls for a ship. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? Yeah, I'm voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Ooh, I think I'll skip dinner tomorrow. At first I thought the privy must be behind there. What is all this stuff anyway? Oh, you know, urchin husks, bile duck extract, sugar, fangweed, nothing unusual. Yeah. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. Swabbing! What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. What do you think you're doing, Swabby? Back where you belong. One of your ancestors? None of your business, Swabby.
That's my private area, Swabby. Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. I feel like the supply of paperwork is endless. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Is this about a promotion for Putra again? I've told her a hundred times I'm never going to sign that. Now get out of here so I can think! I don't have time for that right now. It's all stuff LeChuck has to approve anyway. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith about not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. 